Hello, my name is Angel. I'm an art instructor for Able Arts Work, and today we will be going over how to draw Mickey Mouse. You will need a pencil and a paper. The first step is to draw the nose. You will create a simple oval shape. It could be large or it could be small. It's up to you since you're the artist. And you will follow up with the drawing of an arch above the nose and make sure to keep it about the same length as the nose, as you will be using this as a guide for your eyes. The next step will be to start at one end of the arch and create half an oval towards the center area of the arch and make sure to leave some space in between because you will do the same to the other end of the arch. And of course, make sure to avoid connecting the eyes with one another. We will now work on the mouth. Start by creating an inverted arch, place a C on the left end and a backward C at the other end. Next, create a U-shaped form coming down from one end of the mouth to the other. Follow it up by drawing a slanted M inside the U. This will be the tongue. Next, draw another inverted arch under the giant U. This will be the chin. Follow it up by creating side, by side arches beginning above each end of the mouth and connecting it slightly below the end of the chin. Next, you will create the shape of the head beginning at the cheek. Give yourself some distance from the start point and connect each cheek by a large arch. And next, connect each end of the cheek by creating a giant M above the eyes. The last steps are to draw circles around the head to create the ears. And finally, draw half circles within each eye to create the iris. We will now begin to shade in our character. I personally prefer to start with the eyes followed by the nose. Remember, you're the artist and you decide where to begin and whether or not you want to shade in your drawing or color it in or leave it plain. I have decided to do a few erase marks in order to create some of the highlights you see in Mickey's nose and eyes. Here's a different technique you can use for shading, it's called cross hatching. What I'm doing is simply creating lines in one direction only to cross those lines with perpendicular lines. But keep in mind you want to do this technique to those areas you want to shade or darken up. You can also use your finger for shading by rubbing those areas in which you have already cross hatched. And this will create a softer natural looking shade and it will also reduce the pencil marks you have created. Here are the results of our shading. Remember you can always go back and darken up those areas that you feel need to be darker. You're also welcome to color your drawings with the preferred choice of your mediums, whether it's paint, color pencils, or markers. Remember, you're the artist. I would like to thank you for joining us and I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, or like, and once again, thank you for watching.